some of the muscles of the back. We're going to start over here on the superficial side. This first muscle is trapezius, and it starts here on the back of the skull. You see it ends right here. It goes down, meets the clavicle and the acromion of the scapula, comes around, it goes down all the way into the lumbar region, and then its medial border is the spines of the vertebrae. Okay, that is trapezius. Next, we have rhomboid major. So we have to go over here to the deep side because it's underneath trapezius. And we see these two muscles right here, and they are both a rhombus shape. Now, the smaller one on top is rhomboid minor. It's not on your list. This larger one on bottom is rhomboid major, which is on your list. Next, we have a muscle called serratus anterior. And I'm going to twist around here, see under the arm, over to the front, where remember from the other video, this is our external abdominal oblique, and it has this jagged edge where it meets this muscle right here, this muscle that covers this side of the ribs here. This muscle is serratus anterior, and you can see it has a serrated kind of woven edge where it tucks into the external abdominal oblique muscle. Okay, now we're gonna move into the shoulder. This first one I'm actually gonna take off an arm and show you inside, okay? This little knob right here would be the coracoid process of the scapula. And so this thin, skinny muscle running down here is called coracobrachialis. Kind of runs right along where the nerves and blood vessels of the brachial region are. That's coracobrachialis. Back on the front, here on the chest, this large muscle, all of this is pectoralis major, which you do need to identify. But just for fun, if there's a major, you know there's a minor. And that is what this muscle is. So don't get this muscle confused with serratus anterior. This one is pectoralis minor. Okay, next we have let, uh, deltoid muscle. Deltoid muscle is on the cap of the shoulder. So I'm kind of showing you a side view. It actually wraps around where the clavicle meets the acromion of the scapula, follows the scapular spine, and then both of those sides come down into a triangle shape, like a Greek letter delta. That's where it got its name. And this deltoid muscle then will then end here on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. That is my deltoid. Latissimus dorsi is on the back. and. Isthmus in Latin, it means the most, like R-E-S-T. And so this huge muscle, the biggest, most back and side muscle, starting here, tucked under trapezius here, it goes up to the armpit, goes all the way down here, down and inserts way down onto the sacral region and also follows up the spines of the vertebrae. That huge muscle there is called latissimus dorsi. Next, we have the rotator cuff muscles of the shoulder. We're going to go over here to the deep side of the model. And remember, the first two are using the scapular spine as their point of reference. So this muscle is above the scapular spine, so we're going to call it supraspinatus. This muscle goes here through here, okay, all of this is under the scapular spine, so that is going to be called infraspinatus. That's an S and an I. Our rotator cuff muscles have the acronym SITS, S-I-T-S. The T is for this muscle here. This is teres minor right here. It's the one that goes to the back on the side of the shoulder. Just for fun, if there's a minor, there's a major. This one's the major, and it tucks under the arm right there. Okay, so supraspinatus infraspinatus, teres minor. The last of the rotator cuff muscles is called subscapularis. So we're no longer talking about the scapular spine, we're talking about under the whole scapula. So the way we'd find that is to actually look on this side of the scapula, or on this model I'll show you, it would be this part, this large muscle that covers the entire under surface of the scapula. Technically, I guess it would be the front of the scapula, and this muscle rests up against the back of the ribs. Okay, so those are the muscles that move the arm.